Hi Leo, welcome to your weekly reading for the 4th of July to the 11th. I am Charlene Lizette. If you are new, hello, hi, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you. Either way, I hope you click subscribe and become a part of our collective. Let's see what's going on for you today. No, this week. <laughs> two of Wands, Knight of Swords, Three of Wands, Two of wa Cups. Wow, okay. The Moon, the King of Pentacles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and one more. And that was a five of, 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 of pentacles. I want to show up one more, please. Four of, four of cups and ten of pentacles. They were like stuck together. And obviously that's a reason. Ooh, hello. It's so nice to see you. Hey, hi. Hey, hi. How's it going? Yeah. And the, oh, nice. Page of pentacles and the magician. Nice. This is beautiful. I'm really digging a lot of this a lot of this cards, a lot of these cards showing up for you this week, Leo. You start off with the two of wands, moving forward. Some of you could be traveling, could be embarking on an adventure, could be moving, uh, could be going to visit somebody, okay? But there is um, movement away from your home, okay? From where you call your shopping grounds. You got Wax and Crescent as your astrology. Uh, that's inspiration, creativity, growth, accomplishment, and learning. We are in a Waxing Crescent right now. All right, and then you got Death. Wow, uh, I, uh, I'm, I'm learning that endings are merely new beginnings. The Knight of Swords and the Three of Wands. Look, I don't know if some of you are making a choice to move, uh, to travel, to cut somebody off, but you're definitely ending something with somebody. You're definitely understanding that this is a new chapter, a new role. This is a new beginning that's happening for you. And you're most definitely embarking on this new journey full steam ahead. Perhaps you're going to give an offer to somebody, or perhaps you're waiting for an offer to come in from somebody. Either way, love is on your mind, traveling, expansion. You're looking at how you can grow, not only uh, from your soul, but also externally as well, whether it be means experiences um, or whether um, it's growth financially, there's just growth. There's expansion that's looming here for you. With the moon card, I will say to you that somebody could be having a conversation with you, a king of pentacles, uh, a Virgo, Taurus, or a um, Capricorn, and that conversation that you all have together may make you feel a little bit uneasy. It may make you have some um, insecurity show up, some fears. Um, you may even feel like <sighs> some shadow work may surface. There's something here. For some of you, I don't know if this has to pertain to your relationship, your marriage, your connection, your union. Um, maybe thinking about having a kid or maybe even thinking about getting married. Um, this King of Pentacles here showing up, it wants to offer you something um, or you want to offer them something, but it's interesting because you're both over it and the Ten of Pentacles is underneath here. So I'm wondering if some of you are actually thinking about ending a connection. I don't know if some of you are thinking about, um, you know, if this is the right person for you, if you want to stay with this person, um, you know, there's a lot of, there's a lot of like shadow work and my third eye is itching too. Like, so I would turn around and say to you, um, you know, are you listening to your intuition? Are you paying attention to the cycles that you are repeating with this person? Mm -hmm. I feel overall though, Leo, things are going to work out in your favor. Okay, I have to say that. All right, justice is yours here in this situation. I feel like you are divinely protected and guided as you are embarking in this situation. It's not to say that it may not be difficult. It's also not to say that you may not have um, these, hmm, let's call them like challenging moments or um, difficult moments that you end up coming um, for or that, that end up coming forward because of this decision that you're making to move forward, okay? Like you're making a finite decision that obviously is going to have a ripple effect and that's natural. It's part of the process. All right. Um, Leo, if you want to use crystals to support you in this journey, up. You need to get on crystals that support your energy, the Leo energy, okay? Definitely would recommend, I don't have it here. It's this piece called Athena, but if you have garnet or strawberry quartz, slide them in your pocket and wear them. If you want to shop over at Starseed Jewels, it's my jewelry line. I create modern day amulets to support you in your journey. Um, 
Athena would definitely be a, a piece that I would recommend for you. Another piece I would recommend for you, I'm actually wearing it, is this clear quartz. It comes in 14 karat gold or sterling silver. It's called an Anna. And I wear clear quartz all the time for clarity, to know the path forward, to know the direction in which I am moving forward and to get guidance from source, from the universe. Other crystals that I would recommend for you would be something like sunstone, um, um, red tiger eye. Um, there's this piece called Vulcan. If you're a male, if you're female, you can get this as well, but just remember that the size is really big, so we just ask for it to be in a smaller size, a custom size. It's got um, garnet, red tiger eye, and black tourmaline. Definitely. Lots of passion. Think about all the crystals that are, are even citrine, anything that will support you, Leo, in this journey forward. For those of you that want to learn how to become professional tarot readers, take a look at the description box below. My live interactive two-day tarot course is happening August 20th and 21st. I meet you, you meet me. We work together on Zoom. It's a fun interactive two-day intensive. Uh, you do get to learn how to uh, tap into your psychic abilities, your inner wisdom. Did you see that flying? And I teach you how to read the cards as well. Oh, romantic feelings. Hold on, I'm going to go get it. Look at that. That was on the floor. Oh, yeah. Some hot and spicy stuff happening for you. Maybe this person coming in to give you an offer. You know, maybe you've been single for a while, Leo, and you're a little bit like afraid of the next step, you know, how to how to be in a relationship. Or maybe like scared of commitment or scared of like expanding your family. Who knows, right? It's going to be different for all of you. Wow, justice twice showing up, free yourself. For some of you, you're definitely balancing the skills of karma and entering into a new relationship. <gasps> oh my God, with this ace of cups here, romantic feelings. That's too many, can I just get one more please? Oh my, oh my gosh, Becky. We have the ace of wands, wow. <laughs> Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands, two justices. And your card, Leo, you are lit. You are on fire. Wow. This is going to be a huge transformative week for you where there's a lot of blessings and a lot of new beginnings that are going to be starting for you. Get really excited to accomplish new things, to grow, to learn, to expand, and to embrace being around maybe people that you aren't necessarily used to being around. This is huge for you. I'm really excited. Um, for those of you that are really looking to attract love, I would definitely recommend a piece called Venus. I'm not wearing it right now. Is there one? Yeah, there is here. It's Morganite Barrel and Rose Quartz. It's a great piece for attracting love. Or another piece is Juno. If you've been wanting to attract a romantic partnership, like a, a, a lover, a, lover <laughs> a husband or a, or a wife, um, Juno. Juno is it. It's got um, Rose Quartz uh, and Aquamarine. It's a beautiful piece. All right, uh, take a look at the description box below if you want to shop or enroll. Thank you so much for your likes, your comments, your shares, your subscribes, and for all your support. We'll see you later, alligator. Peace out. Bye.